Hello everybody, I am Just Lance and I would like to welcome you all back for another video. Um, first off, I'd like to say how are all of you doing? I hope you're all doing well. Secondly, uh, happy Memorial Day to all of you. Um, some think that this day is to pay honor to all those who have served in the U.S. Armed Forces. Um, the one who pays tribute to that is the, the day holiday that pays tribute to that is Veterans Day. This day is for those who paid the ultimate ultimate sacrifice and who returned home as a fallen hero, um, both men and women that has served in our U.S. Armed Forces. So, if any of you out there. Um, know someone who's fallen in battle or is related to someone or was related to someone who fell in battle um, my condolences and um, thank you for your sacrifice because it is those men and women who has served who has kept our country great and safe in many cases Anyways, so, moving on. Um, in honor of Veterans Day, I will go ahead and I will use products, some products that kind of have a little bit of a rank on them. First will be my razor. It is the Colonial Razors The General. It is black anodized aluminum. The blade in it is a feather Pro Guard, and it's its first or second shape. The brush. Nothing special, just maggot synthetic with the maple leaf. Um, kind of ironic, I know maple leaf is a symbol for another country, but it's just a wonderful brush. Um, it was a gift. Um, I love that brush. It's one of my favorites as far as my synthetics. Um, but the soap is Captain's Choice North. This reminds me of a pine forest. Got some juniper berry in there. I just absolutely love the scent of this soap. It is a great performing soap. So, let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and get my face wet and let's get on with the shape. Oh, picked up another subscriber. I'm up to 56. I don't know who you are. Your um, YouTube um, profile is not public. It is set to private. But whoever you are, welcome aboard. face. Normally I do it in a reverse order. Get the brush wet, lather, you know, load it, and then wet my face. Um, you probably hear a buzzing in the background. That is a fan of my, that's my fan. It's a little warm here tonight here in Central California. So, I hope you all have been getting some good shaves, uh, nice mail calls, all that good stuff. Um, I'm expecting some blades in when I get those blades. I'm um, going to be getting some injector blades, so I'll finally be able to do a video using one of my injectors, which my channel has no injector razor shaves. None of my shaves have an injector in any of my videos. Add a little bit of water. Now, this Captain's Choice, it's great soap. Um, it's not for everybody, of course, but for me, it's good soap. Um, it's got kind of a unusual. Hang on one sec. Um, it's got kind of a different consistency um, when you get some on your finger. I mean, it's not a real firm soap. It's pretty soft soap. And when you get your 
fingers in there and rub them together with a little bit of the soap right out of the tub. Um, to me it's got kind of a gritty consistency but it you know lathers up fine for me. One sec guys. Hope you all got some you know, Memorial Day plans. If you do, stay safe. If you drink, please don't drive. Um, above all, have fun. And enjoy yourself. And kind of pay a nod to those who have fallen. I don't know if it's because of the juniper or what, but when I use this, so I get, hang on, I get a little bit of a tingle. Not, not, not in a bad way, just like a, I don't know, just kind of one of those tingles where, you know, um, a little bit of a cooling tingle, I guess. Where'd my razor go? There you go. The soap doesn't whip up the thickest lather, or at least I haven't got the thickest lather in the world off of it, but plenty slick. Anyways, um, I want to talk about something real quick. Um, full disclosure, um, first off, 406 Shaver, he's back. Um, which I'm very happy about. Um, Carl Kiefer, a few days ago, mentioned it um, about him being back. So, little six, welcome back to YouTube. Um, I'm glad to see you back. I missed your videos, man. You do some good stuff. Anyways. 406 and I, we're not good. We're not buddy buddy. I have no idea what his first name is or his last name. I just know him by 406. So, I'm taking this upon myself completely 100% of my own wishes. Because what happened to him could very easily happen to me, like him or not, Chris Bailey, Kiefer, Nick Shape, any of the wet shape YouTubers out there, wet shaping YouTubers out there. Rinse off and I'll be back to the second pass. Get a sip off my sippy cup. Anyways, apparently, now, in his defense, he says that everything in his den, pretty much, he's bought except a couple of items that came out of his pocket. Nobody's put anything in his den for free. So, he doesn't owe anybody a favor of a good review. 
And even if somebody, an artisan, or you know, whatever, brush maker, razor maker, soap artisan, sent him a product. Well, he wouldn't even owe that artisan a good review. All he owes the artisans or anybody when it comes to products is his honest opinion. Because if we don't get honest opinions, well, we might get a product and go, wow, this ain't what I thought it would be. That sucks. So, so let's go ahead and let's, I want everybody to understand I wasn't asked to do this. Like I just said, I'm taking this upon myself. Because apparently, Earl Six got something from YouTube while ago, which I think that's why he went dark for a while, if I remember correctly, that's why he went dark. Um, but said he was given unfair reviews, product reviews. Now, you don't want to hear me go on about that, this subject, and go ahead and click off, pardon me. So if you don't want to hear me go on about what I'm about to say, go ahead and click off. If you stick around and you don't like what I got to say, tough. my channel, I will say this if I want. Anyhow, if you are a person who cruises YouTube, And you're going to go ahead and run off to YouTube and report somebody for giving a review that of an opinion, you know, if the end result is an opinion that differs from yours, you are either a troll. Or you just got too much damn time on your hands and you don't understand this hobby. This hobby is very subjective. One moment. Um, take a look at some of the Facebook groups. Opinion, opinions differ very widely on the subject. Hey, what's a good, cheap, non-artisan aftershave I can buy local? You'll get so many responses. Hey, what's a good beginner razor? So many different responses. Boar, badger, or horse? Which brush do you like best? So many different responses. Which blades are good for a beginner? So many different responses. One moment. So, you need to understand that about this hobby. So if you're a person who likes to run off and say, hey, this person's giving an unfair review. Well, suck it up, move on. Now, are there people who gives goes out of their way to give artisans bad reviews for whatever reason. Of course there are. I 
I've seen it. I've seen people sit there and go after artisans and YouTubers ruthlessly. Um, YouTuber that comes to mind as far as that goes, Chris Bailey. Chris Bailey, he's a big boy and he lets roll off his back like a water off a duck. But there are people who goes after those others. There are people out there that says you don't agree with you don't agree with me. I don't I I, I like that you don't. Well, I'm upset. I'm gonna go ahead and let me know. So the long and the short of it, against green. The long and the short of it is this, folks. This hobby, totally subjective. Everything from razors, blades, soaps, creams, open comb, closed comb, slant bar. Um, all of that, so, you know, one moment, so, if somebody don't have the same opinion as you, just move on, because it's a shame for somebody to go ahead and get all bent and then the end result was a wet shaver here on YouTube get discouraged and say I'm done um, and if you're an artisan that makes soaps brushes whatever it is if you're one that likes to run and report to YouTube when somebody does not give a good review on your product, well, to make bear down product. And understand, not everybody's going to like what you make. just the way it is so anyways that rant I'm done with it so anyways um, like I said I wasn't asked to do this I wasn't put up to this it's just like I said if someone's gonna do a 406 shaver they might do it to me they might do it to make shades um, people definitely probably do it to Chris Bailey. Um, they definitely are going to do it to other YouTubers. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off. Um, yeah, that was a good shave. I'm going to go ahead. Oh, miss a little bit there and there. Now, most of the time I'd say don't do this, but this is some Captain's Choice has some really, really nice residual slickness. So, you can do this. Okay, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and rinse off here. And or cut away, rinse off here, and then I'll be back with the post after I shave my after I shave my dome. Anyways, see y'all in a minute. Hey everybody! As you can see, the general and the north and the maggots brush give me an absolutely awesome shave. My face, it's not BBS. Um, it's a little spot right there.
There we go. Um, head, not bad. I oh, miss a little bit right there. Good enough. But yeah, um, pretty good. Pretty good. Um, the Feather Pro Guard, not a bad blade. Um, Feather's got blades that are better. Um, Kai's got some pretty good, pretty darn good Artist Club blades as well. Um, if you do get a general, keep in mind one thing, unless they change the design. It will hold eight out of the nine blades that the mongoose will. The only one that the mongoose will accept, which the general will not, is the um, Feather Pro Lite. So, tryblade.com, you can get a sample pack, get the eight pack, which has one of every blade that the um, general will accept. Um, if you buy the nine, then you're going to try and put the, the feather light in there and go, oh, damn, it won't work unless they changed it. Like, like I said, unless they changed it. Anyways, so um, let's go ahead and let's move on to the post. First off, Dickinson's Witch Hazel. Since I stopped using alum on my face, on a regular basis. Um, my skin has seemed to be doing a little bit better, uh, quite a bit better. I think what it was is just after a shave, the alum every time was just getting a little too much for my skin. But the witch hazel, yeah, it's, yeah, I'll never stop using witch hazel. Okay, Nivea for sensitive skin, original, I do believe. This is nearly out. Once that's done, I'll go ahead and clean the bottle up really good. And save it for, or make some homemade aftershave. Should have a go at it, see how that does. Oops, a little bit too much. Um, yeah, way too much, damn it. Um, oh yeah, let me rinse my hands off here. Wow. Remember that I hung my shave towel up behind me on the towel rack because, well, the towel I grabbed from the shave towel wasn't one of my normal ones. It was, it doesn't, I mean, I don't know what it is. It just gets too, doesn't absorb the water well, put it that way. Okay, that's better. Um, but yeah, I hope tomorrow y'all have a good, or I hope while you guys are having a memorial, your memorial day, I hope y'all have fun with friends and loved ones and family. We plan on barbecuing up some ribs. It's obviously not Memorial Day right now. It's actually Saturday, but I'll be posting this day after tomorrow on Memorial Day. Um, like I said, if yeah, you know, if you can't if you can't handle somebody having an opinion that's having an opinion that differs from you on a product or if you're a vendor or an artisan on one of your own products then you know 
either find a new hobby or make a better product. <laughs> but that's all I'm going to say about that. My rant, did my rant, it's done. Um, the aftershave was Brute Green. I love Brute Green. It's a uh, Fougere. And it just goes so well with the Captain's Choice North. Um, so yeah, if you're into juniper type scents, try the Captain's Choice North. It's really, really good soap. Um, you know, uh, the lather that you whip up, it's a little different. Um, at least for me, it's a little different than others. Uh, so, you know, um, your mileage may vary. Anyways, once again, welcome to the new subscriber. And likes, comments, subscriptions, always appreciate it. Uh, if you ever need to reach me, all lowercase, no spaces, just lance59 at gmail.com. Anyways, y'all take it easy, and I will see all of you on the flip side of the blade. Bye-bye now.